Agriculture and the food system rely on predictability. The changing climate eliminates that predictability, and this creates a lot of stress on the whole system. In the U.S. alone, nearly one-third of all food produced is wasted, accounting for 4.4 gigatons of CO2 emissions every year. A huge part of this is due to toxins, pathogens, and pests that start in the field. Clean Crop Technologies is an ag tech and food tech company that uses air and electricity to boost yields, improve food safety, and reduce food waste. It's important to me to live in a world where the food that lands on my plate is arrived safely, cleanly, and affordably. Since moving to Massachusetts, we try to grow as much as we can at home, but um, it's, it's a little more challenging than we were expecting. So it's just kind of a small garden where we get some leafy greens and sometimes some tomatoes. My wife and I, we try to do our best to eat healthy, take care of ourselves, and so in the kitchen is just kind of a time to relax and you know spend time together after a long day and just enjoy, enjoy that moment. Clean Crop was born out of my experiences working overseas in emerging markets. My job was pretty simple. It was to move food from farms to factories. But one thing that was most complicated was managing quality. In that context, hot, humid, we'd load trucks that had no issues at all and they'd arrive covered in mold. At the time, it was pretty clear that there wasn't a solution to this problem. Contaminants can lead to a range of issues that cause food safety and food waste challenges. It also leads to a range of human health issues caused by contaminants like Salmonella, E. coli, and Listeria, where there's over 600 million cases reported worldwide every year. After that experience, we went looking for a solution and came across some research that had been exploring high-voltage atmospheric cold plasma. And um, that was kind of the beginning of the company. We use our technology to remove different contaminants like bacteria, mold, fungus, and viruses from the surface of different foods and seeds. We're able to reduce risk from the farmer all the way to the consumer. At the farmer level, we're able to remove pathogens that reduce crop yields even before the plant germinates. And after harvest, we're able to ensure the products are more shelf stable by removing things like mold and fungus that lead to food spoilage. For the average consumer, our technology makes food safer and lasts longer in your fridge. What's so compelling about cold plasma is we're able to remove pathogens without changing the food's flavor or quality in the process. We use air and electricity to generate a range of different antimicrobial gases that are able to disrupt the growth of these pathogens on contact, breaking down their DNA, and activating them in the process. So a really unique thing about plasma is we're able to modify the surface of different seeds, etching the surface at a microscopic level to increase the total water absorption capacity of the seed. What this allows is the plant to grow under more stressful conditions with less water in higher temperatures, lower temperatures, and with lower moisture. Sawyer Farms is a research farm where they're helping us experiment and test different seed conditions that we're applying to spinach seed. What we're looking for is how much we're impacting the water absorption capacity of the seed, as well as what is the optimal condition to get the best performance. Bringing this technology into the marketplace is going to reduce food waste, bringing down the cost of food. We expect our technology will be able to offset as much as a gigaton of CO2 emissions by 2050. Our big vision is to make this technology accessible, not just for large manufacturers in the U.S., but we want to bring it to emerging markets. We think that we can level the playing field by removing this risk and opening up the global market to even the smallest farmers in remote parts of the world. I'm Daniel Cavanaugh, and I'm the co-founder and COO of Clean Crop Technologies.